I'm Jim Lampley. Since turning professional following the 2000 Olympics, Miguel Cotto has spent the last decade plus moving through the ranks from heralded prospect to prominent champion to one of the top overall draws in boxing. Now the future Hall of Famer is looking to rebound from a 2012 that saw him lose consecutive fights for the first time in his career. On October 5, Cotto looks to begin a new chapter in his illustrious career when he takes on Delvin Rodriguez. Let's take a look at Miguel Cotto's greatest hits. September 2004, Cotto faced Kelson Pinto for a vacant 140-pound title. Pinto had beaten Cotto twice in the amateurs. Cotto with a huge left hook. Trinidad, there's a new superstar in Puerto Rico. June 2007, Cotto faced Brooklyn native Zab Judah in front of a record Madison Square Garden crowd. The story in the early rounds, Cotto's inability to keep his punches above the belt. And now a low blow puts Judah on the canvas. Another low blow. Judah is in agony and would be well advised to take more time to recover this time. Cotto's relentless pressure and devastating power shots eventually wore his opponent down. And he continues to crash away at Judah and gets the blood to flow from Judah's right eye again. Left, left, right, left to the body. Continued assault from the Puerto Rican star. Watch to the crowd standing as Cotto continues the vicious assault. Judah goes to a knee. A picture-perfect combination dropped Judah, and in round 11, the fight came to an end. He doesn't want any more, or so it appears, and Arthur McKinney stops the fight. Knockout! November 2007, Cotto returned to Madison Square Garden to meet Sugar Shane Mosley, and once again, fans were treated to an action-packed, high-drama battle. Hard right hand across the top by Cotto. Big right hand by Mosley. Tremendous left hook by Cotto. Tremendous right hand by Shane Mosley. They are trading shot for shot now. It's a war of wills in round three. These are vicious exchanges. Some of the most vicious exchanges we've seen in years. Hard right hand by Cotto. Thudded onto the chin of Shane Mosley. Entering the championship rounds, the fight was too close to call. Big left hand by Cotto. Cotto has energy. Back to fighting the way he fought earlier. What a vicious struggle. And a huge left hand by Cotto. And he has clearly won the 11. After 12 violent, thrilling rounds, Miguel Cotto was awarded the unanimous decision victory. July 2008 brought Cotto to a highly anticipated fight against Antonio Margarito. Many experts called this the possible fight of the year, and it didn't disappoint. Cotto lands the right hand and holds it up for the crowd to see. Miguel Cotto looks very sharp, very quick in yeah. the early going. Now the left uppercut for Margarito. And he steps in in the corner and fires away. Now Margarito gets the space he wants and eats an uppercut for his trouble. And smiles at Cotto as if to say, all right, now we're fighting. Cotto scored early, landing some thudding blows. But Margarito seemed unfazed by Cotto's best shots. Cotto badly hurt by a series of Margarito uppercuts. Cotto is in trouble along the ropes. Miguel Cotto getting beaten up by a bigger man. It's over, it's over. He's exhausted, yeah, and it's it. almost over. The punishment has accumulated to the point where Cotto has nothing left. And Evangelista Cotto is going to throw in the towel, and Antonio Margarito has the victory he's been waiting for all his life. June 2009, after an easy bounce-back victory over Michael Jennings, Cotto met the dangerous Joshua Clotty before a frenzied pro Cotto Madison Square Garden crowd. And it didn't take long for Miguel Cotto to bring the crowd to its feet. And down goes Clotty at the end of round one, and Cotto has a vital point. But in round three, an accidental flash of heads opened a bad cut over Cotto's left eye. With the blood flowing, Cotto brought his aggressive fighting style back to the forefront. Good tackle by Cotto. Clotty came at him went up onto Cotto's shoulder, and Miguel just put him down. And Clotty appears to be hurt. This is brilliant tactics by Miguel Cotto. This is ring generalship, as he has trapped Clotty 
in the corner for nearly a full minute here. Suddenly, the Miguel Cotto of old has emerged against an immobilized Joshua Clotty. But as the fight went on, the story increasingly was Cotto's badly cut eye. Miguel Cotto can't see any right hands coming. Another right hand by Clotty, and again, Cotto puts his glove up to try to stanch the bleeding. After 12 physically brutal rounds, Cotto escaped with a split decision victory. November 2009, Cotto faced the hottest fighter in the world, Manny Pacquiao. The early rounds were electric, with both fighters establishing their power. Good left hook by Miguel Cotto. Crowd comes out of its seat for that one. There's the speed advantage for Pacquiao. He starts to open up. Uppercut snaps Pacquiao's head back. Pacquiao hits Cotto with a hard left hand. And another. And another. Good body shot by Cotto. Traps Pacquiao in the corner. What a round. The tenor of the fight began to change in rounds three and four. Manny landed a little right hook in there and follows up by knocking Cotto down. First knockdown of the fight. Now it's Cotto whose back is against the ropes, and he fights his way off and goes down again. Despite the severe beating, the brave Cotto fought into the final round before referee Kenny Bayless finally stopped the fight. June 2010, Cotto made the leap to 154 pounds against undefeated Yuri Foreman in the first ever fight at the new Yankee Stadium. Cotto looked sharp early. Once again, Cotto knocks Foreman back with a solid jab. Right hand lands for Cotto. That hurt, that hurt Foreman. But when he works off the jab, beautiful things happen for Cotto. And the fight took a turn in round seven. Oh. Foreman apparently trips. He has suffered an injury. I think he's just fell, and I think uh, his foot, his, his knee gave away on him. Following another Foreman fall, his trainer threw a towel from his corner. But referee Arthur Mercanti chose to clear the ring and let the action continue. Cotto finished strong in round nine. Cotto comes back with the left hook to the body and cracks it. And that's the knockout victory that Cotto was looking for. December 2011, three years after a defeat marked by controversy, Cotto finally had his chance for revenge against Margarito. And he wasted a little time turning Margarito's surgically repaired right eye into a target. Good combination by Cotto. Crowd is warming up. Margarito's right eye is already showing blood. Cotto's fighting as though he doesn't have the same fear of Margarito's punches in their first fight. Margarito grinning like a jack-o'-lantern as Cotto tries to do surgery on his face. Margarito kept moving forward, trying to push Cotto to the ropes in the middle rounds. Hard right hand by Margarito. His best shot of the night. Good left by Cotto. Three punch combination. Finished with a left hook in the area of the eye. Margarito still stalking, stalking, stalking. Cotto stands his ground and rips him with a left hook to the chin. Body shots and a left hook upstairs from Cotto. And another left hook. Cotto's left hand landed at will. And after nine rounds, Margarito's eye could no longer stand up to the sustained beating. It's over. It's over, and Miguel Cotto has the technical knockout victory, which for him is sweet revenge. May 2012, Cotto earned a shot at pound-for-pound -pound king Floyd Mayweather. Cotto's challenge? To break through the legendary Mayweather defense. This is the plan for Cotto, for sure. Try to land against him along the ropes. Mayweather lands the right hand around Cotto's glove. He's beginning to sweep the right hand rather than throwing it over the top. They're trading shots. Mayweather's still getting the best of it, but there's blood trickling from his nose. Cotto's making a mark here and there. Mayweather repeatedly landed his right hand, but Cotto was able to close the distance and began delivering his own power shots in round eight. What a determined effort by Miguel Cotto. Big shots by Cotto. Mayweather landing back, but Cotto is the one who's putting hard leather on his man. Mayweather hasn't lost a round this clearly and solidly for some time. Mayweather regained the momentum in the later rounds, and Cotto was staggered several times by Mayweather uppercuts in the 12th. Cotto's spirited effort came up short as Mayweather claimed the unanimous decision. To see more of Miguel Cotto, tune in to HBO Boxing.